Um, so, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I am going to play Mad at the Internet on Mad at the Internet. Let's take a listen. Um, th this is my... On, just in case you missed it, there's a possibility if you're listening to this. Because I didn't put this on the RSS feed. Um, and I figure I might as well incorporate it. On s Saturday, at, at um, 6 p.m. Eastern, midnight my time, I, I, I was expecting a very long conversation with someone named Channing Krager or Channing Krager. She got mad at me for mispronouncing her name or some shit um, because she, let me give you a full backstory of this because I, I feel like I, I need some explanation. Channing has been posting was hired. She claims to be originally hired by Sam Hyde and MDE to promote um, his, his work in a astroturfing way on 4chan she alleges that he she was paid um by sam to post on poll links to his work um and to his comedy and to his videos and, and basically to promote him in a inorganic way on social media including on 4chan and then after their falling out she then took various stories that she had learned about while I think for eight years working with Sam and uh, accused him of being all sorts of things. The most notable of which being a pedophile, because when Sam was 28, he had hooked up with someone named Marky. Um, he had, who was 16 at the time, I think 16, it was either 15, 16 or 17. Depends on who you ask. Um, but he uh, hooked up with her. She was a parent. From what I understand, Marky was like a, a name fag on R9K. And she had this thing where her nose would bleed a lot. So she would post pictures of her with blood pouring out of her nose on R9K, and that was like her shtick. So um, Marky traveled across state lines. In her state, um, it would be illegal for... Who, is, who dares? Who dares? Um... All right, I got a contact about the um, domain thing. It's just it, it was just a company clarifying that uh, <laughs> they didn't do anything. <laughs> um, okay, so Mar where Marky was, it would be illegal for Sam to have sex with her because she was sixteen. In Sam's state, it is legal, uh, but in the federal code, if you transport a minor across state lines, where to avoid um, local. Uh, statute limitations or um, statutory rape charges. That's a felony. However, that felony has a statute of limitations of five years. So technically he broke the law by having sex with her. Um, but legally he's past that point of having to care about it. However, Channing had been accusing him of being a pedophile for, for more than half a decade by the time I talked to her. Uh, she had, in the same way that she had been uh, set about to advertise for MDE, uh, she had dedicated herself to trying and ruin Sam. And it's this thing that everyone knows about. Everyone who is a fan of MDE or knows of Sam Hyde or watches Fish Tank knows about the fucking Marky spam. Because it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere that Sam is. There's this person talking about being uh, him being a pedophile. And that's Channing. Uh, she's been doing this for a very long time. And so uh, I've confirmed that the person I talked to is Channing. I have pictures of her ID. I have pictures of her ID with a timestamp. Um, I had three other people, a part of MDE, confirmed to me, or former members of MDE, uh, confirmed to me that that is her. And you can compare her voice on that call to old videos of Sam where you can hear Channing talk because uh, Sam claims that she would talk as the cameraman because she wanted to be in the video even though he wouldn't let her be in the video so she would like breathe into the the, the microphone to be heard and and so on and so forth shit like that you, it's her um so there's like a coat that sam hired her as like a uh, to like intentionally discredit channing but it's it's the same person um so she, i asked her Two weeks ago, while she was in, she was uh, in vacation in Central Europe. She was posting pictures of her in Luxembourg and in the Catholic Cathedral in in Cologne, or uh, Cologne, and um, like she was keeping me updated. I said, okay, get, you know, get everything you want me to show on stream together, and um, I I will go through it. She said, okay, perfectly lucid all the way up until one hour before stream where she got completely shit faced and started yelling at me in German 
and uh, was late to the stream, and then I got her on, and I'll just play it then. Uh, so, to be, I'm not going to, I'm probably just not going to interrupt this throughout the entire thing, because it'll be very confusing with two of my voices. So, I'm just going to let this play all the way through. Uh, the code word for when I begin speaking normally again is spaghetti chat. Okay, no, uh... I'm Josh. I run a website called the Kiwi Farms, and this is Channing Crager. She says that she's worked with NDE and Sam Hyde for eight years. Is that right? Nine years. All right. Sorry, I got you. Um, so, yeah, just introduce yourself. How did you meet Sam? Uh, on um, I'm very embarrassing. I met him on uh, on uh, <laughs> so embarrassing. I met Sam Hyde on OK Cupid. OK Cupid. Hmm? Does it, does it, what did his profile stand out to you? How how old was he when you met him? Just as a context. He this was is... thirty two, and I was uh, two years younger than him. Okay, and you worked with him for for nine years. You said. So he's, uh, yes. is he in his forties now? Yes. Okay. Um, how did you get into his business? Uh, because I was very good at, uh, doing everything I made. Um, and I will show, uh, I made, um, Beautiful, uh, <laughs> I made a uh, stuff that was, um, people, uh, doing stuff, uh, Can you give an example? uh, yeah. Christmas example. Christmas example. What Christmas example? Uh, it was Christmas example, and uh, I don't know after that. Okay. Out of curiosity, um, we've been talking for about two weeks now, mm -hmm. and throughout that yeah, time. Yeah, we've been talking for a long time, by the way. Yeah, for about two weeks. We've tried to, uh, to mm -hmm. get ready for the stream. And uh, yeah, Josh, I'm trying to be your girlfriend, maybe. <laughs> what did you take before we called? Because you were not nothing. like this. No, no you definitely nothing. Took something. Nothing. I didn't take anything. <laughs> That's obviously I a do... lie, though. No, 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 I do have some uh, Christmas... Uh, uh, Christmas mushrooms. <laughs> so you took psychedelic mushrooms before, you, like an hour before stream, because you we were you were sending no, messages no, I for. Didn't, this... I didn't take. I didn't take those. That's I obviously a lie, those. though. No, no, I didn't take those. I gave them to my friends, and I'm ready to do the streams, and explain everything. Okay. Well, there's no, I mean, there's no point continuing because you're obviously fucked up on something. And what's, what's really oh, sad is that people are going to assume that this is no, like something that Sam Hyde put, you, put somebody up, up to. Anything. And I've seen your ID. Up. I've seen your rental agreements. I've seen all your paperwork. So I know that this is the real person. You come up completely fucked up. I'm not fucked up on anything, bro. I'm not fucked up on anything. Everybody and everybody listening to this. There's like a thousand plus people listening to this, and they're all. I mean, every, every single person can tell. I don't even know why you would, would you try to lie about that because you can just tell. Like I'm your messages became nonsensical on about 45 minutes ago. So you obviously took like a huh. handful of Xanax or something, and before you came on stream. Ooh. Xanax? You think I took Xanax, bro? You think I took Xanax? What's really unfortunate is that if there is, like, my point Xanax. in talking to you is that I wanted to, to know if there was any validity to serious accusations. And if there is any validity, you have completely fucked this up for the people that Sam 
hurt. And you like tried to rope in a bunch of other people who I can't even talk about now because like three different people have showed ID oh, to try and uh, arrange did this. Something. That's not me. And I didn't do that on the like on the real. I didn't do, do that. I didn't do anything on the real. The, oh. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, like, I don't even know what to ask you because it's like you can't describe. I asked you the very first thing, but how did you get into MDE from meeting Sam Heidel, Sam Heidel, and OK Cupid? And you can't describe that. You said something about Christmas. Well, I will talk about it in the next segment. I will talk about it in the next segment. And I wish I didn't have to do that, but I will. I will talk about it. What segment? Why? Just explain how you went from meeting Sam Hyde to getting into MDE. I, uh, I talked to Sam Hyde very heavy. Very heavy. Who is the other person um, in your apartment with you? Because when uh, you, you picked up, I could hear somebody walking around. Who is that? Uh, you don't know those people. They have and no I association with, you. With, with anything. Yeah, I can't tell you those people. Like, those are other people. Like, I can't tell you. Okay. Yeah, those are other people. Sorry. Sorry, there's other people. I love you, Josh, by the way. Like, how, how fucking embarrassing to do this. Like, you were obviously lucid in the last, like, two weeks. And, like, it's not, right before it's not embarrassing. It's not embarrassing for me. It's, uh, I, uh, I... I do agree with uh, being part of MDE. That's not um, what I mean, though. I mean, you being obviously fucked up. Oh, it's 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 so frustrating because people are going to assume that I just picked up like a crisis actor off the fucking street who Sam Hyde paid to do this on stream, and I have like I have photocopies of your ID and shit. Ooh. Ooh. No, but you know where we come from. I just, I honestly, I just want to know what you took before you, you got on, because it was like in the last hour that whatever you, you binged on was, was taken because you were able to form a sentence like an hour ago. I didn't binge on anything. I just, uh, I just, uh, had some, uh, Irish. Okay. Lunch. All right. Well, thank you for talking to me. Bye bye. That was Channing Crager, the person who has been posting infographics about Sam Hyde being a pedophile on poll for the last five years. I hope you have found this conversation informative. Uh, have a great night. I'm going to bed. Peace. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Spaghetti chat. All right. Listen. Um, so one of the first things we want to address is that someone asked why after the first sentence did you not cut it off at first i couldn't tell because she just come from germany i thought maybe she just had like a really thick german accent which caught me off guard because she's from the u.s and then i realized very quickly no she's not drunk that's not or she's not german she's just very drunk or fucked up on something uh the other part is that there's long silences, and that's just not just me giving her space to talk. That's me trying to decide what to do, because obviously the correct answer is to end the conversation as quickly as possible. However, I wanted to make sure that there was no doubt left for anyone that she had voluntarily decided to, um, to, to talk to me, that it was about Sam Hyde, and that she was completely fucked up and it was not like 
playing pretend fucked up. It wasn't like a skit. You can listen to her and tell that person is actually genuinely fucked up on something. Uh, so I let it play out for just long enough, and I tried to keep her on track just long enough to uh, to make that point. It was not like, oh, I got to squeeze whatever I can out of her to get at that dastardly stam high because I just wanted to make the point that she was obviously clearly fucked up. Um, so then after the conversation, I was left with a couple choices and how to proceed. Um, the first one... Uh, someone had someone had asked about, but it wasn't even on the table. Like, would you talk to her again? Absolutely not. Like, how how literally how embarrassing to like how and how disrespectful to me and my time to to do that to me. It was completely unacceptable. I would never speak to her again. Uh, she's banned from the forum now because she's a huge. The next day, by the way, uh, to clear up any any possibility of any pity for her, she comes back the next day on the Kiwi Farms. And she is defending herself, saying, oh, I just had a little bit of, of uh, whiskey, haha, ha, oops, haha, ha. uh, and then just continue doing her, her usual schizo posting that she always fucking does and has been doing for five years. Uh, n- not even like a hiccup, just like continue to do it. So it's like, okay, clearly uh, you, you are a gigantic piece of shit. Um, then the other option would be to talk to other people from MDE, because it was not just her. Uh, she had... She had been around for a while, but there were two other men from MDE who had contacted me um, like years ago, at, like or who were a part of MDE years ago. Um, and one of them had a girl who Sam had been involved with more recently. That was, and these people were like contacting me saying, "Hey, by the way, do you mind if I jump in at some point?" So I was like pre- mentally prepared for several hours of going over DMs and getting calls from like these other people at random, and I was like really really bolting myself down for like a, a serious conversation and having to manage a lot of things and a lot of people and a lot of stuff that I'm not used to doing when I talk to somebody for one of these conversations. Um, and this is what I got <laughs> to kind of compare and contrast what I was expecting versus what I got. Um, and then at the end, uh, one person in particular, I had blamed somebody named James price. Cause I had been told that he and, and Channing had been in a relationship. And I assumed that the guy that she was uh, talking to, um, and whispers was James Price. Uh, he he denounced all of this and said that it wasn't him. And then said he didn't want anything to do with this anymore. It's like okay. Um. And so, th- the next thought would be maybe you know talking to somebody else. But there's two issues with that. Number one, I didn't want to like repeatedly take swings at this because I'm I'm really not trying to like crucify Sam. I'm not trying to ruin MDE. I wanted to know very specifically her story because she's been doing this for so long that that was what was of interest. Like, how can you be dedicated to this for five years and nobody hear you out? And here you go. Here's your fucking answer. Um, But then after talking to the other people from MDE and um, it became kind of clear, I think, that everybody except Channing had moved on. Like everybody was over the shit because it's so old. Like the the Marky stuff was literally like ten years ago, and everybody was over it. And the only reason why they had kind of gathered around to watch this is because they thought, you know, maybe if Channing would like spearhead this and it would be like a real conversation, maybe they should jump in and say something like, "Hey, by the way, this also to lend credibility. Here's this other story that I have from you know years ago, and here's a more recent one. And here's this other story." And then after like this fell apart, they're all just like, oh, fuck it then. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it, like it's it just, it, it, like it, it, it's beyond disbelief. Uh, and then to, to really hammer home that this is a crazy woman. Uh, she is now active on archives of this conversation, um, sending like unhinged messages maybe if you could have said my name right, I could have respected you. Funny that Josh think I care about his job spreading gossip for estrogen heavy men crying laughing emoji. So if you had any thought, oh, this is like a setup, she's still she's still going. She's now in the comments of this of these videos that are archived defending her position. So yeah, no, that's her. 
this is what she does. She's been doing it for five years. And I wouldn't be surprised if now she would start posting like bullshit about me everywhere because she's upset that I didn't, that I hung up on her and didn't want to fuck her or whatever. Um, so no good deed un- goes unpunished, I guess. I, I literally just wanted to hear this story that she's been trying to tell. And my, this is my thank you for it. Um, so my conclusion to this again, after, after speaking kind of in brief to one, two, three MDE people from years ago is again, that they're all over it. And I also last stream, I mentioned, I, I kind of had this perspective of Sam that he was like an Andrew Tate person and my opinion of this was informed by videos of him screaming that it's time to beat women. So after I said this, a bunch of people emailed me and said, like, look, Josh, you have to listen to his recent videos about his perspective on women and his advice for young men. And it's all much more reasonable. And I kind of feel that specifically because of Channing, um, he regrets sticking his dick in crazy and sodomizing a 16 year old and then talking about how getting shit on his dick made her unattractive to him. I think he honestly regrets that. And it's been 10 years now and everybody seems over it except Channing. And I just heard Channing talk. So I have no choice. I must, I must reevaluate my perspective on this person to be fair, because I obviously would like people to uh, evaluate me based off more recent shit <laughs> and not what I was doing, you know, 10 to 15 years ago. Uh, so hopefully, um, hopefully he will continue to not stick his dick in crazy moving forward, chat. Uh, this, this interview, as far as I'm concerned, is the best thing that Sam could hope for because it completely, all you have to do now is, is if someone starts asking questions about the Marky shit on 4chan, you can just link the interview. This is what she sounds like, by the way. This is the person who posts this. This is what she is. Uh, there you go. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.